Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use your smartphone as a keypad input to the Arduino. So we start off with the components here. We don't have that much of a components actually. We have the smartphone with the one shield app, an Arduino on board, one shield on top of it, a USB cable, and a breadboard with two LEDs just to simulate if you're opening a door on a certain password. So for example, in your apartment, if you don't want to carry around uh, the, your keychain, you can open it with your uh, smartphone. So basically, if you enter the right password, the green LED will turn on, and if not, the default uh, red light is, is turning on, okay? Now, if we take a look at the code here, we include the one sheet library, we set a flag to check on the sequence of the password. So let's say the password is one, two, three, four, I'm gonna check on the flag each time I press one, and uh, and I, I don't wanna I don't wanna anybody to like enter four three two one or two three one four to enter to my apartment, right? That's why we need the flag to make sure it's the right password and the right sequence. And then we have the two LEDs on pins number thirteen and twelve. All right. Now in the setup itself, we initialize the one shield library. We set the pin modes into Apple both twelve and thirteen. And uh, we always uh, set the default uh, red light into uh, high. All right. Now, in the loop itself, we check on uh, the buttons that are coming from the smartphone. So here we have four functions. Is one pressed, is two pressed, is three pressed, and is four pressed. And this is the password here, one, two, three, four. And you see here, the flag is increased each time, all right, each time you press uh, um, this right number so that you maintain the sequence itself. And if not, if any other button is pressed, we make the flag into zero. So for example, if I say one, two, and then I go to five, and then three, four, if we're not writing this line, it will open the door, which will be very bad, all right? And that is why we're using this function. I'm gonna show you the details of these uh, particular functions, all right? Now, if if we get the number of iterations equal four, and then, uh, uh, so we got the right password, what do we do? We turn on uh, the green light, when we turn on the wrong light for two seconds, and then we set it back to the default. The red light only is uh, turning on, all right? Now, let's look at these functions. Is one pressed, is two pressed, and is three pressed. And in order to understand it, we have to go to the app. So, if we go to the app, and take a look at the keypad shield. Here you'll find 16 uh, uh, numbers or 16 buttons that can be pressed. And these are represented by rows and columns. So if you're using a real keypad, you'll have that this uh, number, for example, one is at point zero and zero, row zero and column zero. And then number two is zero one, number three is one one, and, uh, and the, the letter A is one, uh, sorry, is one zero, all right? Now, that's why we're using 1, 2, 3, 4. So here, if we go back to the code, you'll see that 1 is pressed, that means that the row is 0 and the column is 0 as well. And in case of 2, that's 0, 1. In case of 3, that's, uh, that's 0, 2, which is 1, 1. And uh, uh, number 4 is, one, is, uh, is uh, row number 1 and column number 0. And then the function with if, if, uh, sorry, is other button pressed, if you press any other button than the one and the two and the three and the four, you make the flag to be zero. Now, back to the mobile app here. Let's try and enter any password. So if 8542, nothing happened. So you see here, the RX LED is lighting, but nothing really happening. But if we press one, two, three, four, there you go. The green light turns on for two seconds. Again, one, two, three, four, and that's it. So that was pretty much it. Now imagine what else can you do with the keypad. You can unlock your door from the outside instead of carrying a keychain, right? Think about all the security applications and if you do build any project, please upload it on our website so that the community can watch and learn from you. If you do have any questions, please ask us on our forum and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. We have more than 36 shields in the app. Thank you very much for watching.